executing off their ball screens, just doing different things, giving us different looks. And I think they really uh, took control of the really kind of the tempo of the game. They were uh, getting to their things and just they had a lot of different sets, all like away screening and ball screening at the top of the key. And I think they really executed those things well. Were you happier with the energy and the effort today than uh, compared to your last game? Uh, I definitely was uh, proud of the guys. That's how they competed, just getting back into things. Uh, I think we cut to like 10. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a loss is a loss. Uh, you can't really take moral victories. How do you, what's the key to bouncing back here at Northwestern on Tuesday? Um, I think it's just bottling up the energy that you saw for like eight, nine minutes and just using it throughout the whole 40 minutes, you know, just really never going away, even if we get down, just because, you know, basketball's game runs, it's just keeping that energy, making sure we're staying in the game. And when we do get away, just, you know, building on top of it. Is that kind of maybe part of the, the periods of inconsistency where you maybe go three or four minutes struggling to score or struggling to defend, then you can put a run into a team, but you just can't kind of sustain it? Is that energy? Uh, yeah, I think uh, you hit it right on the nail. Um, just, you know, really sustaining that energy the whole time. And I think uh, that's just a testament of just, you know, keep going. You know, we have we have subs. We have to keep fighting. As long as you're in there, you have to go 100%. Romeo had his first game of uh, – Romeo had his first game of uh, – under double figures, was it them? Was did he have an off night? What did you see out there on the floor? Um, I think uh, he got into his head a little bit just from the foul trouble. Um, I think he was trying to play conservative a little bit, uh, not trying to because I think they took uh, the second foul was a charge, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And then I know myself, just if somebody takes charge of me, I'm kind of conservative, making sure nobody's down there before I go. So I'm pretty sure he was doing the same thing. But I was just trying to talk to him throughout the game, just saying you gotta, you know, you gotta stay with who you are. You know, you're a great driver. Uh, you know how to pass out of the drive out of double teams, things like that, and just keep doing that. So how much of a factor, if any, did the crowd noise play on your guys' ability to execute down the stretch? Um, it just made a factor just, you know, trying to call out the plays, get on the same page. Um, but I think we did a better job of it than we have in the past, just everybody uh, being on the same page as far as plays go. How much Justin had a season high 15 tonight. Just what was working well for him on the offensive um, end? He was just getting to his spots, you know, just not even so much just – driving and trying to make something happen. Um, it was mo mo mainly off of getting to the corner when somebody else was driving, seeing them, hitting them, him taking the one-two, making the open shots, and then getting on the offensive glass too. How much does it hurt to leave all those points at the free throw line and uh, how do you need, what do you need to do to improve there? Um, it's just a mental thing, you know, you have to step up and knock it down. Um, I think I, a lot of them were either long or short. We weren't really just, you know, put them right where they need to be. And I just think, you know, that's just a mental thing. Okay, I'm going to let Juwan go, and then Justin 